thank you for the kind invitation to speak on this celebratory day, marking Tunisia's National Women's Day. My name is Karin Strandås and I am the Swedish State Secretary for Gender Equality. Sweden highly values our strong bilateral relations with Tunisia. Not long ago, I had the pleasure to visit wonderful Tunis for an important milestone, the Tunis Forum on Gender Equality. Tunisia's democratic consolidation continues to be an important example and a source for inspiration in the MENA region and beyond. I am impressed with the different legislative reforms that Tunisia has undertaken to strengthen women's rights and gender equality. For instance, legislation on ending all forms of violence against women and girls. Sweden is and will continue to be a committed partner in this development. Tunisia's current membership in the UN Security Council provides excellent possibilities to continue the work for gender equality in contexts where it perhaps is needed the most, in conflict situations, in peace building and in de development policies. This year also marks the 25th anniversary of the adoption of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action. We have a unique opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to gender equality. Sweden is proud to be co-leading one of the coalitions in the framework of generation equality. And we are glad that Tunisia will also take a leading role in this work. As you know, the Swedish government was the first feminist government. I am very proud to be part of a government that is working towards the clear goal that women and men, girls and boys, must have the same power to shape society and also their own lives. It is evident that the effects of COVID-19 is widening gender inequalities. As we all know, the burden of the crisis is likely to hit women and men differently. These inequalities need to be taken into consideration in our response to the pandemic. Finally, I want to stress the importance of gender mainstreaming in all policy areas. Policies are better with a gender perspective not only to achieve better outcomes for women and girls, but to achieve better outcomes for everyone. Let's continue this work, Sweden and Tunisia together. Thank you.